so some comic tonight, the same comic that I yelled at a couple weeks ago, uh, was uh, bitching about toxic masculinity in relation to Joe Rogan. <laughs> Here's the thing about that. Though, I will agree with his point that if there were anybody that would look like they would embody the idea of toxic masculinity, it would probably be Joe Rogan. Um, but I don't, I don't like Joe. I don't think he's funny. I don't think that he's that interesting. I think that everybody that he has on his podcast, whether I agree with them or not, is a thousand times more interesting than he'll ever be. And I think that people that watch Joe Rogan are people that really like to pretend that they're, you know, think outside the box type people. But I think that the fact that you watch Joe Rogan proves that you're not, you know? Because he's like such a typical, like, a lot of people say he's controlled opposition. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he has he has good people on his show, though. Like, he has a lot of good people on his show. But it's it's just I don't know. It's like so typical, man. Like, I can't watch podcasts. I get so bored. And then everybody tells me that I should do a podcast. I do something that's even better. It's this YouTube channel, okay? <laughs> it's very old school. It's very 2005 vlogger, YouTubing. Back in the day, back when people just wanted to put themselves out there and it wasn't about money or popularity but I remember that like a long long time ago when when YouTube first came out it was like very very innocent you know it's like think about it like like a like a child as it grows up it becomes more and more tainted by the world And it becomes more and more influenced by materialistic culture and more and more influenced by powerful people that don't want what's best for them. And you know, maybe that was the goal all along. But, you know, all these websites are really, really terrible now. And I should totally knock YouTube because, you know, it is it's a good platform to, to use. And a lot of people use it for various reasons. But if they're going to go the route that they've been going, where they're just trying to censor people and say, oh, you can't talk about this because the communist overlords have a problem with that shit. Um, <laughs> you know, then, then it kind of sucks. Oh my God. Did you see that shit? Okay, maybe it wasn't what you thought it was, but it looked like it was a dead body on the side of the road. I'm not even joking. I'm not even fucking joking, dude. That's fucked up. You don't know. You don't know if that's what it was. It, it could have been a lot of other things, too. Dude, in this piss poor world that we live in, it would not surprise me if somebody just tossed a dead body out onto the interstate. Like, it was a giant trash bag with rope like in the shape of a body I'm not exaggerating that that's what I saw now granted I only looked at it for like a second it's a mere glimpse but it looked like a dead body <sighs> I'm not saying that just to be dramatic okay I'm saying that because, yeah, this world that we live in is really, really fucked up and it's become more and more obvious how fucked up it is. So, 
if somebody were to do something like that, just tossing the evidence on the side of the freeway like that, it wouldn't surprise me at all.